So good morning. Uh, we are once again here with another live streaming session of OET writing subtest. So uh, let us wait for a couple of minutes so that others can also uh, join the stream. Yes. Sunita, good morning. Just me, good morning. <coughs> so the uh, everyone is being joining now. Sumit, good morning. Rajini, good morning. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Anasura. Good morning, Anuja. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Vibin, sir. Good morning, Anita and Anomedi Joseph. <coughs> Alvin, good morning. Amin, good morning. <coughs> so I'll, uh, I think we can start soon. And Sri, good morning. So shall we start? Uh, yes, I think it's time to uh, begin the stream. Uh, so, um, before moving to the core part, uh, we have a few things to for a few things for your kind information. So, the first one is regarding uh, an unlimited offer for OET uh, and for IELTS. Okay, so for OET, uh, we have an unlimited offer uh, worth. Ah uh, yes, it's uh, fifteen thousand for unlimited purpose. Oh, okay. Yes, so you can study OET for uh, unlimited uh, for uh, just fifteen thousand rupees, and uh, so you can avail our services and uh, you can contact Ajinora. And uh, in addition, I we have uh, another news because uh, you know we have 
two new exam centers open uh, in Kerala for OET and uh, they are Burlington English Iduki uh, at Newman College Thodubura and we have Peer Academy uh, Kannur at uh, Leaders College uh, Vattakulam. Yes. So these are our new exam centers for OET. It is great news for the Kannur and Idiki members. Yes, I think uh, so that uh, people of uh, Kannur and Idiki districts can easily uh, reach to their centers. Yes. yes. So that is a great uh, news and also um, let me remind you once again uh, regarding our unlimited offer uh, for just rupees 15,000. Yes. Okay. So I think uh, I think we can begin our uh, live streaming. So <coughs> Yes, so today our topic is, I uh, hope you have seen our topic, uh, our topic is breaking monotony in OET writing. Okay, so yes. uh, so ma'am, uh, before that I would like to introduce ourselves. Um, I am Alvin and I am an OET trainer and she is Ashley and she is also an OET, OET trainer. trainer. Okay, so uh, coming to our topic, so our topic is breaking the monotony in OET writing subtest. Yes. So, uh, so before moving, may I know the uh, meaning of the word uh, monotony? Uh, it's similar or exact uh, regarding the our introduction. Yes. Uh, so uh, most of them are uh, most probably uh, the most of the students have difficulty in writing. Uh, so it's very helpful. I uh, hope uh, that it's very helpful for them yes. uh, to uh, write the OET sections. And uh, we are dealing with mainly the different type of introductions. Right. Yes. So uh, we are very sure that you all are very oriented with OET writing subtest, and you are very sure about the things that you are going to uh, write in the paper. But uh, there are difference uh, according to the kind of difference you make in your letters um, especially in your purpose especially in your introduction paragraph and especially uh, in your uh, in I mean in the recommendation and purpose everything so the thing is that today uh, we have uh, we are planning to take to a different universe of uh, different kind of introductions for same settings yes yes so this is our topic break the monotony of introduction in, in OET, OET writing. writing so simply it means to break the repetition or uh, yes, uh, you, I think you are for the introduction for in order to write the introductions for uh, OET writing, everyone is using same kind of uh, templates or same kind of introductions. Okay, so the mark or the grade depends upon the differences that we make in our letters, right? Uh, yes, uh, sir, I think it's uh, before going further, we have introduced the overall uh, writing sections for the students, uh, those who are uh, dealing with the first new students, yes. it's very helpful for them. Yes, uh, I mean, thank you for uh, reminding me that. Yes. So, uh, we'll give a very brief orientation regarding writing subtests. Right. So, uh, will you please uh, tell me about the uh, time for OIT writing subtests? Uh, yes, and uh, the fi first five minutes for the uh, uh, reading time of the writing question paper and at that time we cannot uh, put up uh, our pen yes. okay pen or pencil and uh, then we have uh, the 40 uh, 40 minutes for uh, the writing sections yes so overall we have 45 minutes five yes. minutes for reading the your question paper and 40 minutes for uh, writing, writing and section. as she reminded you are not supposed to take your pencils during the first five minutes or yes. during the reading time of your OIT writing subtest so this is uh, regarding the time scale and uh, then we all know that in OIT writing subtest we are writing a letter and um, most probably we'll, uh, we are writing a, a referral letter yes yes so uh, then wh what more information would you like to give to the students uh, yes maybe the uh, reader uh, maybe the doctor or a physiotherapist occupational therapist podiatrist or anything else but uh, the writer is always in us yes so, so that means OEG writing is always profession specific right yes yes so uh, that is uh, regarding the uh, kind of letters that uh, we usually write and in order to get the desired uh, results for OIT writing subtest, we have to be careful about certain aspects, uh, not only regarding the uh, writing a proper letter, other than that there are certain focus points or there are certain aspects by which we can definitely increase our grade, right? Yes, and uh, hope you know that there are uh, five official letters uh, yes. for the OIT and they will prefer the five in a simple manner in our official site. Yes, so uh, we request uh, all the students uh, to go to visit the OIT official website and there will you find sample uh, writing test yes. or not only for writing they have sample test for all the four uh, sub tests or all the four modules and you will find uh, the official sample materials mm -hmm. and I uh, I mean we request you to please be uh, go, please go through the official letters and please be oriented with the uh, official OET letters right yes official letters are very helpful for uh, you all uh, people and uh, the letters are George Gale uh, Jake Peterson, Peter Dumber, uh, then Patricia Stiles, uh, and uh, one more. Yes, 
Lionel Ramamurthy yes, is also Lionel uh, Ramamurthy. Yes, it's also an official uh, OET letter. So these are the five letters which is available in the OET official website. So uh, in uh, as I told earlier, there are many aspects in the uh, writing subtest. Do we have to uh, make a proper sense? So one among this is the introduction. Yes. Your your introduction is one of the major part or what I can say is a kind of bedrock, right? Yes. Yes. So uh, your introduction for your letter is the bedrock uh, for your writing and maybe it depends, uh, you know, it is a main variable by which it decides your grade or your score. Yes. When we are uh, dealing with the writing section, we must go in through the introduction that the very mandatory uh, we are going to uh, when we are writing the introduction sections and the introduction is the key part of the writing section and before uh, when we are writing the uh, in a letter uh, you are going through the writing task it must be very import yes. important yes so um, then in addition one thing I would like to remind you is that the question paper or the cue card that you receive is a, is a a uh, case note or a care plan of a patient okay yes. that question paper does not include all the things that you should write in your letter or uh, you I mean it is not important to or it is not necessary to uh, write all the information which is given in your question paper it is yes. just a normal care plan as you receive in a hospital setting so please keep this in mind that you do not have to write everything which is given in your OET uh, writing cue card okay so yes. unless uh, depending upon the kind of letter and depending upon the uh, character or purpose of the letter ah, yes and mainly it depends upon the reader when who you uh, you need to write this letter it's de mainly depends upon that yes and uh, we can uh, concise uh, the letter according to them yes so uh, we are not going to the criteria uh, mm -hmm. we, we have six criteria uh, for OET writing subtest uh, so uh, as our top is not related to that we are not going to the criteria but you have to stick on to your criteria in order to get a desired uh, result for OIT writing so before that uh, ma'am uh, let me ask you that okay whenever you uh, get a cue card or whenever you get a question paper what is the first thing you are going to uh, going to do at the kind of time of uh, reading if I got a letter I must read the writing task first yes so you should begin with reading the writing task so that is that must be given the primary importance. Uh, yes. yes and our primary importance is the writing task and they will provide an adequate information and if the letter is known case or unknown case who is the reader that must be they will provide in the writing task yes so from the writing task we have to uh, synthesize or we have to extract informations regarding the reader who is a reader yes. then uh, the purpose may be purpose of the letter maybe mm -hmm. it might be a precise purpose or uh, it might be kind of generalized purpose like uh, care or treatment anything yes. and uh, other than that is uh, uh, the character of the letter or uh, you have to distinguish between non case an unknown case uh, before writing yes that's yes. good Mm, and uh, moreover that they will provide an adequate information regarding what the including the including things uh, what yes. we must include in the letter that will be they will provide in the writing task yes and uh, then we have go to the uh, first body paragraph of the letter so uh, they will provide the patient name uh, first and yes. uh, we must understand who is the patient and a patient may be the patient date of birth or age yes so uh, we told that you have 45 minutes to complete your writing and uh, we would like to remind you that in uh, all these 45 minutes you might be very thorough about your intention okay so what is your intention what kind of letter is uh, I mean what kind of letter are you writing to whom you are writing and what is the purpose of your letter so uh, th that that is called the intention your intention of writing the letter so you have to be very thorough about the intention right uh, yes before uh, you are giving the uh, letter to the examiner uh, then you must uh, read a proofread a thorough proof yes read I, is think, I think it is really important so yes must. Uh, yeah so will you please tell me uh, the importance of uh, proofreading or the correct actions that can uh, can be made during the uh, last minutes uh, yes uh, for the exam days uh, the people's are students are very much uh, tense regarding their uh, examines yes. and uh, at that time they will pro uh, they will make a lot of mistakes especially gender difference yes, is yes. the most important thing that uh, that must uh, remind uh, uh, gender change and uh, some people uh, who are forgot uh, to write the patient name uh, maybe uh, they will uh, write the first name or the last name but according to our letter uh, we will must uh, uh, know that the patient age and according to that age we uh, can clarify that uh, the 
patient first name or last name is necessary for the letter. Okay, so proofreading is a time uh, in which you can uh, assess your independent variables uh, or the uh, variables that can uh, can be make or you can make a mistake uh, for such kind of variables. So you uh, proofreading is a time in uh, which you can utilize for these kind of uh, things, right? Yes, at least two minutes you need to spend for a proofread. Yes, then um, along with that, uh, it, is it necessary to begin your uh, writing uh, quickly after you finish your five minutes for reading time? Uh, no, it's not necessary according to your willingness and uh, according to your um, uh, will, um, uh, ideas. Yes. Okay, uh, firstly, we can uh, write the entire address and uh, the uh, designation or reference uh, of the letter, and uh, we have to uh, time uh, for thinking what we need to write in that letter. Yes, so uh, another thing we would like to remind you is regarding the grammar or regarding the language, and uh, unfortunately, we do not have a provision to make uh, grammar mistakes in OIT writing subtest because we are thinking and we are constructing a sentence. So among language the most important aspect is the usage of tenses okay i won't uh, stress you to study the active and passive voice or the uh, direct or uh, indirect speech okay it might it has to be but uh, the most important thing is the usage of tenses and uh, which are the three tenses that usually uh, we use in our OIT writing subtest uh, there are um, uh, there are a lot of thing to remember yes. uh, but the tenses are present tense uh, then uh, it comes past tense and future tense yes. so for the present tense uh, you must include the data that is uh, done uh, under the tagline today or uh, presently like uh, you can use is are uh, then has have for present tense uh, then um, it depends upon the components like perfect yes. tense and continuous tense then like same with past tense and for the future tense so you you, you have to be thorough with the constructions uh, construction of sentences and uh, the usage of tenses right yeah uh, yes uh, there must be paragraphs uh, for the past uh, history and present history and the social history in that uh, depends upon the tenses yes okay and in present history we are mostly dealing with the present tense yes okay so uh, once again as our topic is not related to the general OET orientation we are not going deeply into it so yes. meanwhile if you have any doubts regarding general things definitely you can comment in the uh, comment box and uh, we will answer you and uh, so uh, once again uh, I would like to remind you the topic break the monotony of introduction in OET writing so today what is our intention is that we will uh, we have a few uh, letters or the cue cards and we will uh, teach you how you how to frame our different introduction to different kind of letters other than writing the templates like I am writing to or it would be appreciated these are called the templates so how you can uh, dif uh, make a probable difference in your uh, OIT writing introductions uh, yes sir actually 50% of uh, students are facing very difficult to create an introduction yes. uh, we already told you that uh, our main part is our introduction so we can focus the introduction first and yes. when we uh, we got a letter we must focus on the writing task then the introduction so from the writing task we can identify that how we can write the introduction yes so um, see uh, I would like to tell you to uh, take your pencil or pen on take your book to note down the uh, informations or note down the different kind of introductions that we uh, give from here right yes yes so uh, let us move to the uh, first question paper Yes, so uh, I hope you can see this in your uh, screen. So this is a uh, this is of yes, as we told, this is an official letter, official letter. and this is a letter of Jake Peterson. So um, as we said, we will directly go to the writing task, right? Yes. So we will begin with the uh, writing task. This is the first page. So I am just going uh, moving to the writing task. Mm, yes so this is the writing task so ma'am will you please explain uh, me regarding the writing task uh, yes using the information given in the case note write a letter to mrs kullan a university practice nurse uh, in your letter briefly outline mention that uh, briefly outline jake peterson's history and your concerns address your letter to monica kullan a senior nurse practitioner university of mass bank health center hills dune road mass bank yes so uh, this is our writing task and yes. uh, uh, again, uh, the, I would also like to remind you that all the letters that we write in OIT is referral letters. Even if it is a home visit, this is that is also a kind of referral letter. So uh, I, I know everyone will be writing. I am writing to refer. I am writing to refer. But the thing is that I am writing to, uh, to refer must be your last scope of intervention. Yes, yes you, you can only use I am writing to refer even if you got uh, haven't got any kind of proper introductions. Uh, yes, in this letter we can use I am writing to introduce. Introduce, yes. yes. So from this uh, writing task, the, so this is a writing task and we have to uh, infer a few data or few informations from the writing task. So first one is uh, who is the reader? So the reader is Mrs. Kulan 
she is a university practice nurse in University of Marchbank Health Center. Okay, so this yes. is our she is our reader and uh, again she is a nurse. Yes. Okay, so the profession is uh, nursing and what we have to do or what is our intention in this letter is to briefly outline Jake Peterson's history and your concerns. Okay, so our prominent uh, the most prominence has to be given to Jake Peterson's history history right so yes yes and uh, this is not a letter to uh, take care of the uh, patient that means uh, jake peterson they will only provide uh, the data regarding the exam arrangements yes uh, we will uh, see, see in the, the yes we will go to the uh, letter or we will go to the um, proper cue card so to begin with yes so we have uh, patient details here jake peterson uh, we have date got a date of birth and address, address. so social background, social background. so uh, coming to social background uh, the student he's a student at boarding school for yes. the past eight, eight years. years then parent work and live abroad father mother okay non smokers uh, karate black belt champion swimmer, swimmer. then okay we have uh, got a presenting complaint here alopecia hair loss from uh, 13, 13 years, years old uh, okay he had intermittent, intermittent cycles cycle. okay uh, intermittent cycles of hair loss and meanwhile uh, yes intermittent cycles means he had intermittent cycles of hair loss and regrowth, uh, regrowth yes. so that is called intermittent cycles okay so uh, etiology is not uh, confirmed Formed, uh, they have, might have various possibilities, various possibilities for his hair loss, and but you can uh, identify that his condition is hair loss. Hair loss. Okay, his uh, ma major problem that he uh, faces hair loss. Okay. Oh my God, you you have got a uh, query here. He suspected to suspected have to have depression. depression also. Okay, so uh, by this time you might have confused. Or oh, what should I include in my introduction paragraph? Whether I should include yes. depression, depression or, or alopecia? In, yes. So uh, before that, we'll move to the other things also. Treatment, Treatment summary. Treatment summary. Yeah. And uh, in uh, March 2014, they will provide the uh, school clinic presenter with hair loss in patches, uh, yes. something. And he referred to a trichologist specialist. And in Ma May 2014, they will provide a trichologist. Uh, means uh, he did find out any etiology yes. and possibly exacerbated by stress okay so they were uh, you, you know they just prescribed steroid S cream yes. like uh, beta methasone uh, and so and so so uh, in addition he had personality, personality changes, changes aggression then uh, sleep loss um, uh, and he discontinued that sleep medication. Loss medication okay yes. so uh, that is uh, regarding the treatment summary again uh, okay and then here it is 2014 to 2018, 2018. so a time period of four years yes in that years uh, he no, no further, ha yeah, hair, no further loss hair loss and intermittent hair regrowth. Yes, yeah, so that was a kind of uh, positive impact for his yes. treatment or his recovery. And when uh, yeah, yeah, when it comes to December 2018. Again, uh, he had return of anxiety and pronounced hair loss. And um, yeah, he was on general health check. And uh, during his general health check, it was found that a loss of six kg over, over the last, last two months. months. Yes, so six kg over the last two months. And he recommended to see a doctor for the uh, hair regarding, loss. So uh, this is regarding, I think. Yes. Yeah, regarding, regarding hair loss, then anxiety and, anxiety and, and weight, weight loss. loss. Okay. And uh, he is uh, reluctant for that, and he asked for natural, natural remedies. remedies. That because uh, uh, yeah, we can understand that we he couldn't get. You know, the desired results yes. from this so he inquired about natural remedies uh, like homeopathy then uh, students still keen to try to for the treatment options okay okay then that was the informations of December 2018, December 2018. again the very next year when it comes to February 2019 yes. again uh, unfortunately no results no uh, results and cost implication of homeopathic, home, treatment. uh, homeopathic treatments okay so again we have a bit more queries uh, Home is distressed or mode. in low mood. Yes, problems forming or maintaining in peer, peer relationships, relationships affecting, affecting his sports participation. Yes. So these are the uh, symptoms that Im, uh, that should you know uh, imply to his uh, depression stages. Okay, yes. fine. So after that, when it comes to the very next month, March 2019, he was he referred again to referred to a school, school counselor, counselor, but he did didn't attend. attend. Okay. So May 2019 checkup. Uh, then alcohol consumption, a doubtful of alcohol consumption, minimum 28 uh, units per week. Uh, because uh, previously he takes 20 units of uh, alcohol yes. and he's now changed to 28 units. That means that means he increased the consumption. Yeah. Then uh, we have June to July 2019 exam time. Uh, okay, he is in extreme anxiety. Extreme anxiety. Okay, necessary to arrange a separate exam, exam room. room. Okay. Then again, doubtful of hair loss. 30th August, student concerned about transition to, to university shortly and independently leaving a letter to university medical practice. Okay, so I, I would say that here comes our task. Yes. Is that right? Yes, that there are two tasks there, uh, monitor and organize special exam arrangement. That's our task. Yes, so we have got a particular need here. 
organize yes. special exam, exam arrangements. arrangements this is not uh, like to uh, kindly provide an ongoing care or continuing care or yes. anything else okay so uh, ma'am uh, i think i, I will uh, just uh, tell an introduction so will you correct it uh, yes, for me course, okay so i will uh, if i am uh, writing this i would like to write i am writing to introduce uh, mr jake peterson uh, who has uh, maybe who has alopecia or depression and uh, he requires ongoing care and uh, treatment for his alopecia so is that right uh, no uh, actually it's not right because they will not provide an adequate data regarding he need an ongoing care or continuing care then already they will provide an information or provide and writing task like organize special exam arrangements or monitor yes. so that's the our writing task so you need to uh, that uh, monitor or write uh, like that uh, he requires monitor and a uh, organized special exam arrangement yes. so that means if you have got a precise or a particular yes. uh, purpose it is you must give the prime uh, priority or importance to that particular needs because usually uh, yes it is right that for usually nurses and doctors we can generalize our purposes because yes. it but the thing depends upon the kind of letter that yes. you are writing okay maybe in the recommendation paragraph or uh, maybe in the recommendation uh, topics or in the writing task they will provide the adequate data uh, that must be maybe it's an ongoing care or monitoring uh, or uh, further examination further investigation or evaluation anything else but in this case they will provide monitor and organize special exam arrangement that's yes. our requirement but but uh, that is the reason why uh, because the uh, reader has to easily understand the purpose of the letter uh, yes yes and uh, i will uh, read the um, official letter yes. introduction and i'm writing to introduce mr jack peterson an 18 year old student at this school who is about to start studying in your mass bank university then jack presents with hair loss and associated depression and anxiety oh okay so that is very precise uh, i mean yes uh, so um the purpose was uh, to uh, so would you please re uh, read it once more uh, yes an 18 year uh, student at this school who is about to start studying in your yes. university and jack presents with hair loss and associated depression yes, and hair loss anxiety. and associated depression and anxiety so they have included uh, both hair loss and uh, depression or anxiety yes. so uh, they have used the word associated so um, ma'am uh, if what is is there any uh, mistake uh, when i use hair loss secondary to uh, depression or secondary to anxiety is that right uh, no actually that's not right because in this letter they will not say that his hair loss is due to uh, anxiety or hair loss is due to depression or uh, depression is due to anxiety oh so uh, in this letter we can't use secondary to or due to so that's why we are mentioned associated with hair loss associated with anxiety or depression yes so uh, the very uh, proper word at that at this uh, time is associated yes yes so uh, okay so uh, in this i am writing to introduce so is there any other uh, method other than i am writing to introduce in this in a letter that ah. we can we i mean we can use in this letter uh, yes i am writing to provide a brief outline uh, of mr jake peterson we can write like that because they will provide in the writing task uh, the briefly outline okay so uh, i think i can write uh, i am writing to provide a brief outline of jake peterson uh, who has uh, alopecia and associated yes. uh, depression and anxiety okay so then i can then uh, how can i write the purpose he requires if we may i think most of our students will definitely try to write he requires something and something so what can be written here he requires two things what are the things he requires further monitoring and, and exam arrangements okay so uh, you can write he requires further monitoring okay. and, and special exam, exam arrangements, arrangements. Yes. so the, and that is again really uh, very uh, precise right yes, yes. so this is how you can uh, write a proper introduction for uh, this letter and again this is an official letter yes. and um, i hope it is clear for you and if you have any doubts kindly ask it in the comment box we'll just wait for a few seconds yes so is there any comments uh so um so if you have any doubts please ask uh, regarding the introductions or not only the introductions at uh, regarding anything of uh, of this particular letter so um i think we can move to the uh, next letter 
shall we yes is, is there any uh no sir no hello okay fine so uh let let us move to the very next letter so again uh yes this is also an official letter of mr george gale so again we will move to the writing task okay so the writing task is using the information given in the case notes write a letter of discharge okay write a letter of discharge to miss gold the head nurse at uh, prime rose nursing home in your letter briefly outline mr gail's history as well as your concerns and recommendation address the letter to miss jane gold head nurse prime rose nursing home blackwood street old town okay again uh, i think we have got precise purposes yes. for our uh, letter okay so first of all this is a discharge letter okay yes. so discharge letter letter is also a kind of refer letter as i told earlier so everyone will go and write i am writing to refer, refer. Plus, please don't follow this practice or please don't practice writing i am writing to refer for each and every kind of referral letters okay so as i told it has to be your last scope of intervention yes. okay so first of all this is a uh, letter of discharge again uh, we have to again another briefly outline yes we have to outline his history history as well as your okay, concerns and recommendations okay this is also a kind of uh, uh, same kind of letter as uh, we have seen in Jake Peterson's letter, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, uh, we will move to the uh, letter. Yes. So, will you please uh, read the letter? Oh, yes. The name is George Gale and the date of birth they will give, uh, give one and address, then the social uh, background and then uh, coming to okay medical history uh, that means a lot of thing in the medical history then the medications then uh, present complaints disorientation and fever and the hospital uh, admission, admission that means 10 may 2021 yes. uh, at that time he had some kind of subjective symptoms Subjectives. oh he had a history of fall fall yes. on uh, 0 9 may yes while brushing teeth while brushing teeth and felt weak uh, legs gave uh, gave, uh, gave way then uh, fell backward head uh, with head strike then approximately for okay. 50 5 hours lying on the floor he was lying on the floor uh, for the five years uh, yes. five house then two weeks before all single episode okay this is uh, two weeks before, before fall. the fall. okay he had a single episode of vomiting, vomiting palpitation, palpitation and, and dysuria then objectively uh, he had confusion and disorientation and his this is a vital signs okay something about a urine analysis uh, then uh, okay. diagnosis diagnosis is urinary tract infection um, Possibly due to due to cause uh, of fall. fall. Yes, possibly due to fall. Okay, so uh, this is his diagnosis, and again we have treatment records. 10 to 14 May 2000, he has been given with uh, he has been uh, commenced on kind of uh, antibiotics, Some medication, amox, sir. and all. Uh, then yes, 15 May uh, he was ready for discharge. Uh, okay, mm, patient leaves alone. Uh, then no home help. Keen to return to own home as soon as possible significantly lowered mobility 30 minutes per day of physical activity to be encouraged then he still has episodes of confusion, confusion. assessment for independent living recommended okay right to head nurse at nursing home for re further care uh, regarding further care uh, required so we are writing to a head nurse at nursing home okay so uh, yes nursing home yes yes again we are uh, dealing with an another letter so in this letter they will provide an information regarding the may uh, 15th uh, this is only regarding the fall Yes. That's a uh, that's a differentiation in this letter because uh, they are already provided a uh, data regarding diagnosis is UTA. But um, in the official letter, they I will uh, read it. They yes. will provide like uh, thank you for taking over Miss Mr. George Gale's post fall care. I am writing to provide a brief summary of his background and plan for temporary residential care upon discharge. Okay, so uh, I think when at the time of discharge, his <laughs> problems. So these are the these are the problems uh, that presently or currently he faces okay so the other patient leaves alone keen to return to own home significantly lowered mobility still episodes of confusion or assessment okay so when you read these things okay these yes. things i think it is not related to uti yes okay isn't it like that uh, yes that's of course like that because they will not uh, provide an adequate uh, data regarding the uti or anything else they only provide the fall after fall care yes. that's why in our official site they will provide like post fall care yes post fall care so when you write post fall care then the reader is uh, it can be well understood uh, for the reader uh, that 
he he is uh, recovering from a fall yes yeah uh, so uh, that's why we are not mentioning the uti here and uh, the possibility of cause of fall anything else then already we are um, tell that told you that uh, the fall or uh, the summary treatment summary so uh, that's why we are mentioned here and we are writing to provide a treatment summary of mr george gale george gale okay. again precisely right briefly outline yes in your letter summary. briefly outline mr george gale's history as well as your concern yes. that's why we here we are mentioning i am writing to provide a brief summary of his background and plan a temporary care in uh, the 15 may 2021 they will provide like that ready for discharge to nursing home for temporary care yes okay. so this is regarding uh, george gail's letter so again if you have any doubts uh, regarding the yes, introductions sir. okay so um, uh, okay ma'am will you please suggest any other different introductions for this letter as we done in uh, previous letter any other different introductions uh, like uh, i am writing to introduce or anything okay uh, we can just uh, write i am writing to uh, introduce or uh, thank you for taking over mr george gale post fall care yes. and after that we can just like he requires for the care and uh, or for the temporary care and mo monitoring anything else yes so uh, ma'am i have heard that uh, people say that if you begin the introduction with the name of the patient again it has got some uh, bonus marks or something else so what happens if i begin here with uh, like uh, so we can see that this is a discharge letter so what happens if i begin mr uh, george gail is being discharged to your care uh, who requires or for uh, post fall care anything else like that uh, yes that sentence also we can use in the introduction that must be uh, different okay yes he is being discharged so uh, yes. please uh, take care that it is discharged ed form yes, yes. and uh, when we are dealing with the different introduction that must be a good thing i think uh, because most of the students are samely like i am writing to provide yes. i am writing to refer so uh, yeah I, I, we are pretty sure that everyone are uh, following the same templates i am yes. writing to i am writing to i am writing so just imagine that uh, you are an oet evaluator or uh, assessor so if you uh, you have 30 or 40 papers in your hand if you keep on reading the same uh, papers like i am writing to i am writing to and meanwhile uh, you notice a different introduction like mr uh, george gale or mr rex is being referred to your care or your service then it it arises a different sense yes. okay then definitely uh, he will be uh, you know he will be uh, george gale's post yes. fault care that means furtherly we can uh, write like that this is uh, depends upon his discharge pattern okay yes. so uh, uh, so uh, so that is regarding uh, mr george gale's uh, letter so um, you know is Okay. Other than this, is there any other uh, probable introductions? No, no. These are all uh, what are we discussed okay. regarding the introduction sections, and uh, we can uh, move to the another uh, letter. Shall yes. We? So before that, I have a few doubts uh, in uh, Facebook. So uh, Pushpa, how to write intro for one community center to another community center? Ah, oh, is uh, just we can write. I am writing to transfer. Yes. If this that depends upon the writing task. Yes. Maybe it's a transfer letter. Maybe it's a referral letter. Yes. You, so that is what I told. You have to be very thorough. about your yes. intention so uh, that depends upon your letter you can write uh, i am writing to transfer or mr x is being transferred from this uh, place to that place you can follow that uh, then i again um, based on your letter you can write i am writing to introduce or anything yes, yes. so um, okay i have one more doubt first one can we write like this i am writing to introduce mr x who is suspected to have depression uh, okay maybe i think maybe of jake peterson jake peterson like okay he requires what if he ex what if we exclude the hair loss in purpose see uh, see uh, you know uh, in that jake peterson's letter uh, yes um, I, your question is really sensible uh, but if we if we exclude the matter of hair loss that means you have to be you uh, the thing is that you have to stick on to your purpose of letter and uh, in that jake peterson's letter our purpose is to organize special exam yes. arrangements okay so you might think that okay why he need special exam arrangements because he had depression and he had anxiety anxiety okay yes so what is the cause of depression and anxiety possibly due to the uh, possibly due to hair loss or alopecia so that is what we have included both these things hair loss associated hair loss with associated depression and anxiety okay. so that is very clear and very uh, very i mean it is really understandable uh, for the reader because uh, he not only his depression and also including hair loss or alopecia uh, yes in that letter and uh, who is suspected to have depression is uh, not right because yes. they will provide in the coming uh, sentence that 
he had low mood yes. and his decreased activity. Yeah, that so means that he means yeah, they have described many symptoms, which is uh, you know clearly, uh, which clearly shows that he has uh, depression. And uh, in that case, and uh, he's in 2014. I think it's 2014. He has uh, depression in a query manner. Yes. So oh, okay, the, you have to follow that chronology, right? Yes. And uh, it, now it's, it's 2019. 2019. Yeah. That's why it, maybe the depression will be confirmed. Uh, confirmed. And they also mentioned that the etiology is unknown. That means maybe they diagnose the condition. Yes. Okay. So that is uh, regarding uh, Jack Peterson and George Hay letter. So again like this if you have any doubts uh, please uh, do comment it in the comment box. So is there any other doubts here? Is it uh, right I am writing this referral letter to discharge yeah. Mr. Uh, yes, so you can uh, write, I am writing uh, ref it's, uh, this letter like an referral letter. Yes, uh, see, uh, in your introduction, who is this? Uh, Nikhil, right? So, uh, Nikhil, I am writing this referral letter to discharge. discharge. Yes. See, uh, we have a criteria called, uh, you know, uh, we have a girl genre and style. So that means we are writing a formal letter and our letter has, uh, you know. Some criteria. Yes. So our letter has to be formal. So, you uh, know being your uh, side or just seeing your introduction i am writing this referral letter to discharge mr okay i think it has some kind of informal sense yes yes so you are so that is one of our criteria and it has got seven marks john run style so your letter has to be formal letter so i would I'd like to uh, advise you to avoid such kind of introductions like I am writing this referral letter. It means in my sense, I think it has a uh, kind of informal uh, feelings. Hmm. Right? And sir, uh, one more question is that uh, what about main medical issue in George Gale letter introduction? Okay, we already <laughs> discussed that uh, they will not provide any other care regarding the UTA and already they will provide UTA medications yes, and antibiotics. Yes, you can see here for urinary tract infections, they have given uh, anti IV antibiotics observations and uh, palpitations and when it comes to uh, the 15th may there is no symptoms which is related to your another infection, infection and infection. they have they haven't said that uh, the condition has a deteriorated or something else yes. so that means uh, they have treated the urinary tract infection. It might be treated, might we be, not yes. clear but we uh, regarding that. We cannot confirm that. And just focus the recommendation paragraph and what care uh, he need from the uh, uh, thing. Okay, yes, yes. so that's why we are mentioning the, uh, we are not mentioning the UTA here and we are mentioning the post default care. Yes, so that is uh, regarding these uh, two letters, we will uh, switch on to the next letter. Uh, yes, so this is uh, the letter of Mr. Jeremy, Jeremy Taylor. Taylor. Okay, so uh, this is also a uh, letter uh, in which students have, uh, students uh, you know usually get confused. Yes. So we will go to the writing task. Yes, of course. Yes, so this is the uh, writing task. Mr. Jeremy Taylor is a 54 year old patient in the oncology ward of a hospital uh, in which you are charged Charles nurse. nurse. Mm, he, he is transferring from Brooks Bank back to New Abbey. Yeah, yes. A little bit confused. A lot of students are uh, arguing like that it's a non case letter, but it's not uh, safe that this yes, is a. Uh, okay, so uh, I think everyone has confusion. So, uh, will you please, uh, I hope you can see this writing task. Uh, will you please uh, comment whether it is a non case or unknown case yes. uh, in the comment box so i will uh, complete the writing task use the information in the case notes to provide a treatment summary and follow up care plan okay again our intention is to provide a treatment summary and a follow up care, care plan. plan address your letter to oncologist okay this is our uh, letter to an oncologist dr gerald jones 24 sophia avenue new Abbey. this is a different kind of letter because uh, the previous two ones uh, we are writing uh, to the nurse nurse now it's to a consultant or i mean oncologist, oncologist. specialist yeah. specialist dr yes, gerald uh, Jones. So, uh, will you please comment whether it is a known case or an unknown case? Meanwhile, I have a doubt here. Uh, in the first letter, the depression is in query. So, how can we write alopecia associated with depression? So, that is it with uh, Jake Peterson's uh, letter. Yes, we already discussed that. Yes. Uh, so, Anjali, uh, we have already uh, discussed regarding that. So, uh, so whether uh, is there uh, anything mm, with no non case no. or not? Yes, it's a it is it's non case, right? Okay, Nikhil right. says that it is a non case. Okay, so unknown case, Vijin unknown case, Sabin un unknown case. So you you have mixed mixed interpretations for this writing task. Okay, mm. so uh, so ma'am, what is the 
a letter is it non case or an unknown case okay of course this is a uh, unknown case because they will not provide an accurate data regarding this is a non case okay uh, but they mentioned that back to new abena that, that means not this is not a, a non case yes. okay the address are same uh, but actually the patient is transferring to new abbey yes so you can to new abbey yes i think you can confirm it when you read the letter also right yes, yes. yes. so we'll go to the letter that's right so this is uh, mr jeremy taylor admission he was admitted on 5 3 treating doctor social background uh, works as a i think we'll get some kind of uh, hint from social background he works as a banker he is a widower uh, his wife died 3 years ago next of kin is a daughter doctor. yes um, both single stressful life uh, lives alone so has take away food i think uh, no much hints Mm, medical history 2010 diagnosed with hypertension. hypertension he was not compliant with medication no, no family, family history, history of cancer then presenting complaints on 5th of this month okay he was admitted on 5th yes. okay so on the time of admission he had respiratory infection rust colored sputum, sputum and uh, the patient was visiting her daughter, daughter in, in brooks, brooks bank. bank okay so you saw a word called brooks bank here where uh, yes so now the patient is in brooks brooks bank why because her daughter is there her daughter resides in uh, brooks bank so that is why uh, he was visiting her doc uh, daughter who lives in brooks bank and at that time of a visit he experienced these kind of symptoms and immediately he was admitted to nearby yes. hospital yes so uh, again pr so presently he is in brooks bank then uh, we have few dates again regarding the uh, clinical history and the medical backgrounds yes. are obviously treated by what's procedure yes oh, oh okay so he's uh, this is his diagnosis yes. right this test revealed uh, non small cell lung, lung cancer. cancer again uh, we CD have our scan revealed yes, category TIC, TIC number MO uh, 2.5 cm tumor in left lung bronchial branches are not, not affected. affected so this is uh, information regarding uh, his diagnosis yes then uh, on 15th of uh, month what procedure was, was done successfully yes. in removing tumor yes. with four incisions yeah so that means his tumor was removed with the help of four incisions then uh, percocet for breakthrough pain uh, then uh, vital, vital signs, signs. Uh, he, he was hypertensive yes then on 17th he was discharged, discharged. under daughter's, daughter's care. care okay he was discharged under daughter's, daughter's care. care so presently again he is living in brooks bank, brooks bank. because her daughter uh, his Lives daughter there. Uh, resides, resides there. there yeah so then uh, again another management okay so this was what procedure was also a kind of management so next is uh, again uh, two uh, two months right yes 20 uh, to Ma 25 yes, march to uh, may right yes so he underwent adjuvant chemotherapy in four, four cycles, cycles once um, every two weeks yes once every two weeks again with some kind of medications uh, okay Side let me remind you these medications are very important okay fine okay. Uh, then uh, borderline leukopenia uh, its count are there and the discharge plan uh, need uh, referral, referral to a dietitian, to a dietitian. psychotherapist to uh, help yeah, quit smoking, smoking regular exercise Next, next to CD scan, scan plant continue ramipril no alcohol daughter and son, son to take turns living, living with father. father in his new abbey flat yes so That's usually usually uh, you know uh, mr uh, jeremy taylor lives in new abbey Yes. Uh, he lives in New York and uh, he visit. Uh, he uh, usually visit his daughter in Brooks Bank. Yes. So his daughter and son usually uh, take turns uh, living, living with, with father, father in his New York flat. Okay. Moni then another uh, purpose is monitor blood count. Uh, CBSC weekly two months. Then assessment weak from pain, pain but recovering, but recovering well, side well effects. Sex. So this is our information. So is there any hint? Okay. So I would like to ask you that. Is there any hint? Uh, many of uh, many of you have said non case. So is there any hints uh, so that you can confirm it as a non case? Is there any hints? If so, please uh, will you please comment it in the comment box if you have seen any kind of hints to confirm it as a non case. Is there anything? I couldn't. Uh, see any hints? Actually, back to New Abbey is a little bit confused for yes, them. Back actually, to I New think. Abbey. Yes. So back to New, New Abbey. Abbey. So that means simply. Okay. So you just think in a simple sense or a simple way. He is being transferred back to his home okay. from from his daughter's home. That's a home. quite common thing. Yes. So there is nothing uh, hint for a non-case. So we hope that uh, you understood, understood why it is a 
unknown case yes. just an unknown case yeah. and uh, going to the introduction uh, we can't uh, like uh, like that he uh, he underwent or anything else you can just uh, like that i'm writing to transfer mr uh, jeremy taylor uh, who has been diagnosed with uh, uh, stage 2 small cell lung okay. cancer okay so ma'am why has been why we use has been uh, it's quite common uh, that means it's a uh, lung long cancer standing, long standing uh, uh, diagnosis yeah. that's why we are mentioning has, has been, been diagnosed, diagnosed with. okay okay in uh, this letter uh, there are two procedures that means what's procedure and chemotherapy yes okay so in uh, this uh, letter either we can write he is recovering from chemotherapy yes. so i think uh, even if a patient has a diagnosis yes. uh, if a proper management has been given i think we have to give uh, the top priority to the management yes yes so in this case also you can write other uh, uh, like what's procedure and chemotherapy edge and chemotherapy yes uh, but in this case, vice procedure is uh, before three months before. After that, we are providing the chemotherapy. That's why we, that's why we are not mentioning the vice procedure in the introduction. We can mention uh, the chemotherapy here. Yes. So, uh, see, can you please? Uh, okay. Do we need to include that he is being tra mo uh, transferred from Brooks Bank? back to new bay uh, yes of course sir we can uh, write uh, we need to write or you must write uh, he is transferring to new abbey yes that's, because that's that is our proper intention uh, yes that's the main thing in this introduction because the actual purpose of the letter is uh, the patient is not going for a further care or improving his care actually he is transferring to new abbey that's why we are mentioning a new uh, doctor yes. on call just to uh, introduce the yes, that patient is, that is why we are writing this letter yes okay so that's that is also the thing uh, that you have to include in your introduction paragraph. So, will you please uh, dictate the introduction, uh, proper introduction paragraph once again? Yes, I am writing to transfer Mr. Jeremy Taylor, who has been diagnosed with small uh, small cell lung cancer, uh, then and uh, requires follow up care from your service. He is moving back to New Abbey. Okay, so this is a one kind of introduction. So, uh, ma'am, will you please uh, tell me with uh, the, uh, in the the management or the what's procedure or chemotherapy? Uh, yes, either you can write the vice procedure or chemotherapy here. So, will here. you please tell me with an introduction with that? Uh, yes, I am writing to provide a treatment summary and care plan uh, for Mr. Jeremy Taylor who is uh, recovering following what's and uh, mention that following yes. the word following recovering following what's and adjoint chemotherapy for non small cell lung cancer he is being transferred to your uh, follow up care to you for follow up, for follow -up, follow -up care. care yes so this is also a different kind of introduction so meanwhile i have a doubt here uh, like if we start introduction with patient's name how the introduction will be okay so uh, this is for everyone uh, so michelle was the one who asked the uh, doubt so like you can write mr x then you can write is being is being transferred okay i, I will write referred here because okay. uh, it is it's kind of uh, uh, general okay okay mr x is being referred, referred. okay then the rest of things depends upon your letter sometimes it will be from this place to uh, this place, place. or anything uh, that uh, which depends upon your letter so instead of referred then again you can use different words like yes. transferred Transfer. discharged uh, then uh, then another one is mr. X requires you can definitely begin with purpose also yes mr x requires uh, like follow up support further and monitoring, further or monitoring anything air. Uh, then after that you can break the sentence you can write he has or uh, you can uh, mention health condition present uh, status of the patient so this is how you have to uh, you can mention uh, or you can begin the introduction with name of the patient always uh, keep in mind that it has to be in ed form referred transferred yes. discharged so this is this is how that means uh, we are mentioned that is being yes is being mm. is being okay not been being okay yes. so that is how you can begin with the name of the uh, patient okay so uh, do please comment your doubts so that we can clear it soon do you have any doubts why we are not uh, writing post operative can you explain we are not this is not on post operative so uh, see um, i think uh, you might have uh, you might have confused with watts procedure so where is uh, i mean i couldn't find any post operative uh, 
uh, maybe they will mention regarding the wards procedure okay so there's nothing is related to post operative ah, yes. recovery and uh, the wards procedure is 3 mu- 3 months before yes. so no need to mention it's in your intro yes so no need of post operative informations is there any other doubts okay, okay so i think uh, i think we can move to the next letter again this is uh, miss margaret helen martin so uh, i think uh, you are familiar with th- this letter also yes. so we will move to the writing task okay so this is a writing task using the information in the case notes write a letter uh, okay so this is right write a letter to the nursing in charge of the district nursing service outlining miss martin's situation and anticipated needs uh, yes. okay anticipated needs following her return home tomorrow address the letter to nurse in charge okay fine address and all is given so we have to write about miss martin's situation and her anticipated needs okay and again we are writing to a uh, nurse nursing, nursing in charge, in charge yes. of the district nurse and service. in this letter they will provide the anticipated ne- needs are they will written in an order then yes. the end of the letter yes so anticipated needs means please do not write she requires monitoring and uh, care for anticipated needs yes, like yes. if if there is like if there is in the writing task if there is a given like particular needs or anticipated yes, needs yes. definitely there will be some particular needs or definitely there will be some kind of anticipated needs in your letter okay that's uh, let uh, that's needs are need to write as the patient recommendation paragraph yes. or we need to understand that what's the anticipated needs are yes so uh, we'll move it to the questions So okay. so uh, you are a ward nurse in cardiac unit and uh, here is the name miss margaret helen martin and the age then admission date 15 july 2017 then the social background and uh, then uh, diagnosis coronary artery disease coma and chain okay. then treatment angioplasty discharge date 16 july uh, 2017 uh, then uh, medical informations uh, then uh, so his past medical informations then Mm, going to the next family history uh, hearing loss then nursing management and progress during hospital stay and then the discharge plan okay then coming to the next so this is uh, okay. physiotherapy physiotherapy and others uh, then anticipatory needs okay anticipated needs of patient they will clearly mention that what all are the anticip- anticipated needs okay yes so these are the needs that you have to include at yes. the area of anticipated needs like she need home visits from community health uh, district nurse uh, monitor adherence to post operative medication regular monitoring by uh, doctor? doctor dietitian physiotherapist Dan- uh, then she is in danger of social isolation and due to infrequent family support so yes. again is this a home visit letter yes sure of course this is a home visit letter so this anticipatory needs means he need or she need a home visit okay. that's the main part of this letter uh okay so uh if you have any doubts regarding why this is a home visit letter please do comment so uh so you came to a conclusion that this is a home letter from this particular aspect right yes of course uh, from this letter they are uh, provided the clear data regarding the need home visit from yes. community health nurse so uh, home visit letter okay then uh, this we have got our anticipated yes. needs then uh, have we have to mention her situation also so will you please uh, tell the introduction for that uh, yes actually uh, of course this is a home visit letter yes. and this is to request home visits mention the word home visits okay not a home visit home visits uh, for mr uh, mr miss margaret chelen martin who underwent an angioplasty for coronary artery disease full stop then she requires continuing uh, continuing care and support following her discharge tomorrow yes. okay in this letter they will provide the data regarding the date yes. okay date is 16. 16 that means the discharge date is 16, 16. and we are writing this letter on the 15 yeah okay, okay. so uh, we are writing on 15 yes oh, okay fine So will you please tell uh, that introduction once again this is to request, request see, home uh, see this is a, a different kind of 
uh, introduction. So yes. uh, usually everyone write I am writing to uh, request That's home visits, visits or usually you uh, write I am writing to refer Miss Margaret Helen Martin who requires home who visits. Requests home visits. Yes, so this is a different kind of, kind of. introduction. This so is to request. request. Yes, uh, this is a different type of introduction uh, that must be remind that there are three types when we can uh, write the introduction ho of home visit we can write in different ways. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we, from this letter, we can understand that this is a home visit letter. Okay. So, okay. the thing that you have to uh, keep in mind is anticipated needs. You have to definitely, you have to uh, include okay. these uh, anticipated needs. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, this, if this is a different kind of letter, we have anticipated needs. So, will you, will you please uh, tell me that, uh, you know, the ki re kind of recommendation paragraph uh, for a, you know, for a different kind of information. Will you please tell me about the recommendation paragraph? Okay. Uh, you can write, it would be appreciated if you could provide adequate care for uh, Mrs. Mar uh, sorry, Mrs. Uh, Martin and uh, she requires adequate care at home or anything you can. It depends upon the anticipatory needs and the recommendation paragraph. Kindly here, they will provide provide like kindly provide or kindly monitor we can directly write kindly monitor uh, his uh, regular health or uh, we can uh, write uh, he she need a referral to doctor dietitian and the word mentioned that he need sorry she need a referral to uh, dietitian physiotherapist and a doctor yes so uh, in this case uh, you are writing the letter to a nurse in charge district mm. nursing service so uh, i think she uh, i mean she as we have already uh, said here she requires home visits from the community yes. nurse specialist right yes okay so uh, kindly well, ask most of the students are including uh, the danger of social isolation in the introduction but when we are writing the introduction actually that's not his need but we can write in the uh, recommendation paragraph because it's so many things are related to social isolation infrequent family support are there and uh, uh, need arranged uh, arranged regular family visits arranged regular family visits to monitor progress so so that must be we, we can concise in the recommendation paragraph okay okay so that's good yes so uh, that is regarding uh, miss margaret helen martin's letter so we'll move to the uh, next letter so this is uh, toby, toby philip okay so this is also a different kind of letter uh, in which you uh, yes. face many problems uh, to frame a proper introduction paragraph or in order to find who is the patient yes okay so we'll go to the writing task so this is the uh, writing task write a letter to the uh, community health nurse explaining the care required for uh, toby so it's toby toby and mrs philip okay so we have to uh, write regarding the care required for both toby and uh, Mrs. Philip or Toby and uh, his mother. Okay, so everyone, uh, everyone might doubt that. What should they include in yes. a, in reference? Especially the patient name. Yes. Uh, most of the students are writing in the reference uh, the most bo uh, Toby and his mother. Yes. But actually, they will provide an adequate data regarding who is our patient. Yes. That means our patient is Toby Philip. Okay, so uh, the uh, patient, your patient is Toby Philip. Okay, yes. uh, so but still, uh, even if your patient is Toby Philip, you have to include all the informations or all the care uh, which is required for uh, his mother, Mrs. Uh, Philip. Okay. Also, in uh, this letter, they will provide in the right and task the care required for uh, Toby and Mrs. Philip. Yes. Okay, that's why we are mentioning in the uh, letter in the body paragraph, we can mention both mother and baby, but instead of that, the uh, patient name is Toby Philip. That's only we can write the Toby Philip as, as your patient yes so okay. uh, so this is uh, the letter mother mrs. Maria Philip 28 years old so his history uh, he was uh, born through an uh, I mean emergency. Via an emergency LSS, LSES and birth weight oh, and he then had gastric, gastric reflex increased gastric, gastric reflex, reflex yes. okay then uh, seemed then like weight, weight difficulty in breastfeeding then oh. educated mother oh, this regarding, is with regarding his mother okay she yes. had difficulty in breastfeeding, breastfeeding. Uh, she was educated regarding feeding techniques then yes and uh, the mother is depressed uh, mainly the depressed due to feeding difficulty and advice given regarding supplementary bottle feed yes and on coming to the next date both were, both discharged. were discharged then the medications were amoxicillin and uh, so on. and they were advised to avoid heavy lifting and vigorous exercises for six weeks then uh, again uh, okay, here on is nine eleven 2019 they revisited to the hospital uh, emergency, department, emergency department with the complaints of increased, increased gastric, gastric reflex and vomiting. vomiting so toby was uh, brought to the emergency department uh, by his mother and she complained that uh, toby had increased gastric reflex and vomiting, vomiting. okay so subjectively yes it was right 
uh, her, uh, his mother's uh, view was right. He yes. had increased gastric reflex, vomiting, and in addition, she had pain while feeding and wound site pain while baby latch, latch on. So, uh, so again, in addition to Toby's symptoms, uh, his mother also had Some uh, certain problems. symptoms. Okay. okay. So, objectively, the baby has no, no active, active problem. problem. Mother's wound is healing well, but you know nipples found lacerated and, and it was painful. painful. So I think uh, by reading this, we can come to a conclusion that th I mean the problem is with uh, okay Toby has got problem, but the mother major problem is yeah with Mrs. Maria Philip. Mrs. Okay. Maria Philip, his mother. So the diagnosis is very clearly given. Uh, the breast nipple infection for the mother. Yes. Okay. So she has breast nipple infection. infection. So. Uh, we have already told about reference so in reference our patient is uh, toby philip yes. not mr he's a he's just child so uh, just toby philip references toby philip please don't include both toby philip and his mother yes. okay but so that is an exception when it comes to the introduction paragraph okay yes. well, this is diagnosis his mother has breast nipple infection so when it comes to the introduction paragraph it changes a bit okay so will you please explain the introduction paragraph uh, yes actually the introduction is commonly a very doubtful introduction for most of the students because there will be uh, some um, difficult to manage the uh, introduction because there will be provide the introduction patient uh, means toby and the care for both so why we can write the introduction so uh, here uh, is an introduction that means i'm writing uh, regarding um, uh, miss um, Mr. Uh, Mr. To sorry, uh, Toby, Toby Philip and, and his, his mother, mother, Mrs. Maria Philip. Yes. Yes. And uh, both were required uh, the adequate care. That means Toby and his mother required the adequate care. So that's why this is the request continuing care for Toby, a 10 day old baby, and his mother, Mrs. Maria Philip, who has breast nipple infection. Yes. So this is how you have to uh, right. write. So now presently we have included the case of Toby. So uh, as we have seen that Toby or baby has no active problem. So it is not necessary to mention the problems of uh, Toby in the introduction paragraph. But yes. definitely you have to mention the case of Mrs. Maria Philip. So that yes. is why we haven't uh, mentioned the name, uh, I mean not the name, we have mentioned the, uh, haven't mentioned the condition of uh, Toby. Toby. Instead of that, we just write he requires continuing, continuing care or care. growth, develop, monitoring, anything else. Okay. So, but Maria has breast nipple infection. So, uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll just tell you to uh, write or will you please comment a different introduction uh, that you usually follow in your writing. Okay, so that is there any, if, if, if it is there any mistake, you definitely correct it. Yeah, you can just try it. So will you please uh, comment a different kind of introductions that uh, you usually uh, follow. We'll wait for a uh, seconds, few seconds maybe. Uh, meanwhile, I think you have a doubt here. Uh, yes, actually, uh, can I mention Master Toby in this letter? Yes, of course, you can. Yes, definitely, you can mention Master Toby. Uh, uh, please note that when the writing task or in your letter, they will provide it like Master, then here, yeah, not in uh, without doubt, we can write the Master. But if the letter is not uh, uh, given that uh, this is a Master, so you can't uh, write. Yes, so uh, I think in intro, can we write mo uh, mother's name or? Yeah, you can or use his, his mother. mother but in uh, this is an introduction is it so it's better to write the mother's name here yes. because in uh, going to further we can use his mother or mrs philip so but for that uh, for easily to write in the body paragraph we can write the mother's name and toby's name in the introduction okay so then any other introductions i think we have to move on Okay, sir, uh, this is an another doubt, like, uh, could you uh, tell us about when we can use underwent and undergone? Yes. Okay, uh, when we are uh, writing or uh, the word undergo and underwent, uh, when we have to write has undergone. Yes. Okay, has undergone means if the surgery is uh, in present or today or recently, we have to mention has undergone and for the underwent is for the past surgery, maybe the yesterday or uh, day before yesterday or uh, so many years past. Yes, uh, but I think for, for uh, I mean uh, to be safe, you can use underwent. 
Yes, uh, but uh, when we are using the underwent, there must be a time period there because it is in the past. So, when the surgery is performed or when the surgery is held, that must be you yes. need to mention. So, the thing that you have to keep in mind is that when you write undergone, it is has undergone and underwent is just underwent. underwent. I underwent, you underwent, she yes. underwent. So, it is like that. Yes. So, is there uh, any further doubts? Uh, in intro, can we write okay? We have cleared. Could you tell us about when we can use Patient. under so that is what mm. we just done, done with okay so i think uh, we can move on to the next uh, letter so this is again a doubtful letter we usually come up with miss olivia hawthorne is a patient at your practice where you are in us okay so yes. we will go to the writing task Okay, using the information given in the case notes, write a letter of referral to Dr. Shah, consultant obstetrician for further investigation. Address the letter to Dr. Miriam Shah, consultant obstetrician, Royal Hospital, Lowdown. So, this is a referral letter and it is to a clinic, uh, consultant yes. obstetrician. Okay, so we will move to the letter. Okay, so name is uh, Olivia Hawthorne, address, okay, social background, We she is married, uh, two sons. Okay, so coming to the major problems, yes. So this is a medical, medical history. history, okay. So uh, she is a G3P2 uh, mother, then 2007, Seven. she had proximal DVT, right leg. Okay, uh, then 2008, and deficiency anemia, anemia 2009, menorrhagia and dysmenorrhea diagnosed. Again, so 2009, she was diagnosed with menorrhagia and dysmenorrhea. Okay, so also in addition, in 2012, she had third degree perineal tear and uh, 2014 elective uh, cesarean section. section was done. When it comes to medications, uh, she was on warfarin or uh, she uh, used to take warfarin, but it is ceased on uh, 2008. 2008. Then ferrosulfate 200 mcg. Uh, then reason for presenting is removed. Of IUD, IUD. So as currently ineffective for yes, that's so, the main thing. Uh, the reason for presenting to our hospital is she just presented for the removal of IUD. IUD. So, removal of IUD means definitely an IUD was inserted in the past. Yes, so, we have past. to include uh, the informations regarding yes. that also because in this case, okay, so uh, regarding I, 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 I'm, I'm really sure that everyone can frame an introduction paragraph and once you have uh, phased an uh, or once you have framed an introduction paragraph, everyone uh, doubts that what should be included in the first body paragraph. So, we would like to advise you that what all things that you write in your first body paragraph should substantiate the things that you write in the introduction paragraph. Yes. Okay, so that is a kind of thing that you usually follow in more than 90 percent of cases and definitely if it is an urgent letter or if it, it has got an urgent character or an immediate character definitely you have to in include why the patient requires urgent intervention yes. or immediate intervention okay. so when it comes to this letter you can understand that the patient uh, was uh, I mean, admitted to a hospital or she presented to a center to i um, mean to remove her iud's Okay, that means there will be a past history. Yes, definitely okay. there will be a past history and also there is no urgent character. Okay, we are referring the patient because uh, we couldn't remove her IUDs and definitely there is no urgent uh, character for this letter. Okay. So, I think in, in certain exceptions, especially with pregnancy, IUD and that is one thing and we are writing for a clinical to a clinical obstetrician. So, I think we have to begin with the past history, especially yes. if it is pregnancy related histories. And or uh, if the surgery uh, is a surgery, if, uh, uh, the surgery is total hip replacement, there must be uh, arthritis or osteoarthritis in the previous history though. So, uh, that is we have to mention in the introduction or in the first body yes. paragraph. So, in this case, uh, as IUD was inserted, definitely the clinical obstetrician has to know when the IUD was inserted, yes. which IUD is inserted. So, all that depends upon the care of Ms. Olivia Hothron. Yes. So, definitely you can begin with past pregnancy history, okay, yes. gestational history maybe. So, uh, we have treatment records. Treatment record. records in 2007, 2009, 11, 12, 13, 15 and uh, there will be a so much of data and uh, dates. Yes, you, again, you can see that there are many dates. It is a little bit confused for the students when they, they will provide a large amount of dates yes so uh, 16 proximal dvt 21 menorrhagia and dysmenorrhea diagnosed okay uh, she was uh, okay she was prescribed seracet uh, for the menstrual bleeding yes. in 2009 but she stopped uh to conceive, to conceive her first, first child. child okay then coming to 26th uh, 9th month 
again menorrhagia dysmenorrhea worse than, than pre pregnancy, pregnancy. and uh, mention that the combined pill silas prescribed okay so instead of uh, seracet she was pres uh, prescribed combined pill uh, then for that again same as yes. the first pregnancy she ceased the combined pill to conceive her conceive second her child. child okay then when it comes to the fourth man in 2015 menorrhagia again returned with menstrual, menstrual cycle, cycle and, and therefore as a management IUD Mirena coil was inserted. Okay. So in this uh, in a letter we are clearly mentioned that there are three three different IUD are inserted. Yes. Uh, Celest pill and a Seracet then uh, then coming to the next then in 2015 they will inserted Mirena coil. Yes. So uh, menorrhagia is improved no more dysmenorrhea no menstrual bleeding. So previously she was uh, uh, I think previously she was prescribed medications yes. and instead of uh, since it was uh, you know it was not much effective then uh, as a very goal targeted management she was inserted an iud mirena coil yes. okay so then when it uh, after the insertion her menorrhagia definitely improved Improves. no more dysmenorrhea no menstrual bleeding since fitting then uh, she had vaginal thrush Fresh. which was treated with uh, medications uh, yes then mm, Then in 2019, uh, the canestan uh, in uh, for the last year, year okay, and menstrual support for three months. months. Again, she experiencing menorrhagia and dysmenorrhagia with increased hairiness and increased thickness of, of skin. skin. Okay, so therefore removal of IUD with nurse uh, prescribed. So removal of IUD was, however, unsuccessful, unsuccessful. because uh, yes, for that um, we attempted. Uh, okay, I am I am speaking uh, on behalf of uh, my hospital. Okay, so yes. uh, removal of we attempted a uh, uh, removal of. for iodis but it was unfortunately unsuccessful yes. and we attempted it for 15, 15 minutes, minutes and, and uh, why it was unsuccessful means we were unable to, to locate, locate the, the string. strings and also patient couldn't recall last time where string the last locate. time well i mean located so uh, in addition we uh, done a pregnancy we have done pregnancy, pregnancy test, test and it was, and it was negative, negative and uh, so we suspect that okay well, i would like to remind you i am talking in behalf of uh, my hospital i suspect that iod is shifted or, or fallen, fallen out. out so therefore i couldn't uh, do much uh intervention so i i i would plan to refer my patient to uh, the uh, maybe OBC or gynecological or gynecology uh, construction i mean for consultant further, or obstetrician yes for further investigation including ultrasound, ultrasound. okay so i think i uh, for the further investigation means i have i think we have to locate the strings yes yes so that is what for need further investigation we have to locate the iud's we have to locate the strings as she cannot uh, recall it yes. when we are mentioning or we are, when we can able to locate the string then we can identify it's the iud is shifted or fallen out that's the main thing Okay, then going to the introduction of this letter, the most of the students are difficult to um, manage uh, this letter. Uh, like uh, how we can write the introduction. Some of them are writing the suspected uh, IUD shifter or fallen out, or some of them are um, uh, written like that. Uh, difficult to uh, remove the um, purpose is removal of IUD. But in this case, we have to mention that the IUD need to be removed. Okay, that's why uh, they are mentioned like the query. So. In this letter, we have uh, to mention that her IUD is suspected to be shifted or fallen. Yes, out. her IUD is suspected to be. Shifted or fallen out. Fallen out. Okay. okay. Not she is suspected to be shifted or fallen out, or she is uh, suspected to have. Uh, in this letter, her IUD, the word her IUD. Uh, so uh, that's the main thing. Her IUD is suspected to be shifted, shifted or, or fallen out. Yes. Okay. And uh, most of them are uh, written like that. Uh, her uh, IUD is suspected to have. Uh, what's the difference uh, between the have and be? Okay. So uh, see, IUD is uh, IUD is suspected. to be fallen out means definitely from that sentence uh, we can see that is based on the construction of the sentences we can definitely doubt that we are not pretty sure that uh, the possible cause of uh, you know our inability or uh, the uh, you know uh, we couldn't locate the strings so we suspect that the iud may have shifted or fallen out so that is why uh, we cannot probably confirm it so iud have shifted out means it is like we are confirming that iud is shifted out or uh, for shifted or fallen out but here from this query we have we are suspecting that so that is why we write we suspect and, uh, it to be fallen out uh, yes and moreover that the iud is not a non living thing that's yes. why we are mentioning the b that b yes okay and uh, more in uh, normal cases we are mentioning how that's uh, for a condition that's why yes okay then uh, moving to the uh, next I I think uh, we can uh, wind up because uh, you know you are moving with time. So, if you have any doubts, please uh, do just comment. ask. I think 
I hereby introduce Mr. Toby Philip and his mother, uh, Mrs. Maria Philip. Is that right? Okay. Um, yes, you can uh, write I hereby introduce. Meaningfully, it is right. Again, uh, please stick on to the criteria before you write a different introduction. See, I think as I already told regarding the criteria, uh, the genre and style, uh, then conciseness and clarity, everything. Always think about the criteria and to go for different kind yes. of uh, introductions. Okay, so do you have any other doubts? Uh, yes, how we can write if so many dates? Okay, there is nothing to write if we, we can use subsequently or in subsequent years. On either we can uh, write the both uh, insertion of uh, or usage of Sarah set and pill celeste in a combined form yes so uh, you know in a single paragraph you can uh, mention all these things okay, okay she was uh, prescribed a uh, combined pill celeste or ser uh, seraset which was, which uh, was uh, seized, seized to conceive which, were seized, which was seized uh, to conceive her first child uh, both pregnancies okay yes. we can concise like that so i think it's clear Okay, I think uh, we are uh, most of all completed uh, the all the uh, informations regarding our introduction sections, is it sir? Yes. Okay. So I think uh, it is clear with you. So if you have any doubts, please do comment. Okay, uh, please explain the introduction. Okay, I am writing to refer uh, Miss Olivia Houghton for further investigation and uh, uh, her IUD is suspected to be shifted or fallen, fallen out. Fallen out. Yes, her IUD is suspected to be shifted, shifted or, or fallen, fallen, out. fallen out. Yes. So, we will wait for a couple of minutes before winding up. So, always try to write different kind of introductions, always uh, read the uh, letter and especially the writing task properly and after that you have to frame a proper introduction, yes. right? So, especially we have to uh, notice that what our writing task will told uh, us to write and uh, what the entire letter or the recommendation paragraph or the advices we need to write in the recommendation paragraph or in the introduction. Yes. Okay. Either the continuing care or ongoing care, there will be or uh, monitoring or further exam arrangements uh, when uh, we are mentioned in the Jake Peterson's letter or uh, like the Olivia Hawthorne's letter. Yes. So, if you have got a particular needs, if you have got specific purposes, please do try to include it in the introduction paragraph yes. rather than generalizing it like follow up care and support guidance and support please do not use those things uh, yes and take two to three minutes for the introduction uh, introduction to write in the uh, examination uh, time yes so it's uh, must good yes for so utilize your um, in majority of time to write yes. a good introduction to yes. frame a good introduction so is there any doubts explain the intro Okay, then how to write 10 days age, 10 day old. Okay, uh, Mr. Toby Philip, who is uh, 10 day mm -hmm. old. Okay. So, can we write 10 days old? No, it's okay. not like that. Then we, when we are mentioning the age, uh, then an 86 hyphen year hyphen old. Okay. So, is there if it is clear with uh, you? I think uh, we have to uh, wind up. Yes. So we'll the definitely time is exceeded, okay. Yeah. So we'll definitely come up with another useful session, yes, maybe with course. body paragraphs or anything else. Or anything else. Yes. yes. So uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Thank you.